Life is so good here in Squamish. So good. <laughs> My name is Sonny Trotter. I live in Squamish, British Columbia. Sonny is Captain Canada, for sure. I call him Captain Canada because he represents, and he's got Canada tattooed on his arm, so I mean, he's obviously very proud. I've been coming to Squamish for, I guess, 10 years now, on and off, and every summer it just uh, it got better and better of a place. There's more roots, more cool people, and then I settled down here uh, permanently two years ago. Squamish is a super badass place to live. It's, it's kind of like living the dream 365 days a year. Coming to Squamish makes you feel like you're on this permanent road trip. It, I think today is what matters the most. It, it's a really, you know, we hear it all the time, but it's so true. And I think that's why we hear it all the time. I feel really fortunate to be in a position where I can take time off and just play, and just climb and hang out with my friends. I think you just gotta do what works for you, you know, and, and nothing, I don't know, you can't get too carried away about the future because it's completely unpredictable. So you gotta just really enjoy, like, today. Yeah, Sonny is a handsome man. He's a very, very strong man. He's on a whole different program of rock climbing. Sonny is definitely a driving force in Squamish climbing. Seems like he's really getting after it, pushing harder routes, and it seems like he's pushing the, the style too, just the, the no bolts, the gear stuff. Lake of Fire is the direct start to 69, and it's the seam that drops down through these overhanging roofs, but the gear's really bad on it because it's really hard to protect. And 69's probably one of the best rock climbs in the Sea to Sky Corridor of, of any grade. It's just, it's such a good, high quality climb. Dude, Sunny Sen was the proudest, like, for sure one of the proudest things I've seen in real life, I think. He just walked up to the crag, hadn't, like, climbed on anything hard in, like, three weeks or something. Hadn't tried the route in over a month. Got all the gear beta from me and then just fired it first go. No warm up, no anything. He just showed up and did it. It was amazing. We did the math. I don't think you're going to hit the ground, but if you fell on the last crimper moves, you're, you're probably destined for a few sprained ankles. A couple sprained ankles. I should say that again. You can get yourself into trouble pretty quick. Ask me to do one more hard move right now. Not a chance. It's one of those places where you feel like you're on vacation all the time. 
um, which is, you know, because I'm a perpetual road tripper, or I've been for the last uh, 12 years. And so coming to Squamish, it kind of makes you feel like you're on this permanent road trip because you get all these, the influx of climbers that come in here and, you know, every, every, you know, you see them rolling in every, every April and May. You see the crash pads on top of vans and people start rolling in and, you know, the vibe is just really good and vibrant and um, um, it's, it's never hard to find a climbing partner here. It's, sometimes there's too many. <laughs> sometimes you find yourself climbing too many days in a row. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful place to live and, um, you know, I love calling it home.